Hey guys and welcome to Simply Peace. Today we're going to be taking a look at the women's Heli Hansen motion jacket. So let's take a closer look now shall we. So the jacket itself has recode transmitting technology involved in it. So what that means really is you don't have to really do anything with it. You know you can wear the jacket as normal, wash it as normal and that sort of thing. But what it does mean is there are transmitter, there is a tracker on this jacket. So if you get stuck in an avalanche, if you're doing a bit of backcountry and you get lost, depending on obviously your last transmission, they'll be able to pinpoint you and they'll be able to find you. So that's a really nice safety feature on this jacket. Anyway, let's go through the basics, shall we? Obviously, you've got your traditional snow skirts in the sleeve with your traditional thumb hole. So quite literally pop your thumb in there, that hold that up and that's going to stop any snow from going up your arm. While we're on the arm itself, you've got your ski pass pocket on the side there, pop it on there, but we'll pop your ski pass on there, zip it up and then you swipe your arm and then that's going to enable you to get onto the ski lifts themselves. You've got two chest pockets there and as you can see they are secure zipped, they're nice and spacious on the inside so you can get quite a lot of little bits and bobs like your wallet, your mobile phone, bits and bobs like that, zip it up and it will stay in there. Obviously you've got your two traditional hip pockets as well, what you notice is on the inside they are fleeced line so if you don't like wearing gloves or you know you're waiting for someone at the top or the bottom of the mountain pop your hands in there if you don't you say if you're not wearing your gloves and that will keep them nice and warm what you'll notice as well with the jacket it's got a nice high neck collar to it so even though if you've got a scarf or you've got a sheet there's lots of room in there you're not going to suffocate yourself too much as well as having the traditional pulley systems as well so you can adjust the hood accordingly but we'll go into that in a bit in more detail a little bit later let's take a look at the jacket itself obviously you've got a storm flap on the front and you've got a storm flap on the inside so that's going to give you double protection predominantly though that's not actually to repel the water that is actually to stop the wind chill so the wind chill isn't going to interfere with your core body temperature on the inside they try to keep it as basic as possible you know they don't really need to fancy play around with too much what you will notice is obviously this mesh panelling on here this is actually for the uh, pit vents on the inside or on the outside as well that's going to enable nice cool air to be flown through the actual inside of the jacket itself you've got a nice large pocket on here again it's a secure pocket with the zip it's wide enough as well for you know your hats your gloves your mobile phones and to be fair depending on the size of your goggles you'll probably be able to squeeze them in as well and as i say on the other side as well you do have another secure pocket which again, that's actually probably more designated for your ski goggles. And as I say, it's nice padded as well. As I say, the fact you can zip it up as well, whatever you pop in those pockets will stay safe and secure. And then you've got your traditional snow skirt as well. I mean, at the moment, it's just kind of clipped into itself. But if you unclip it, you can then attach it. Well, let's do this properly, shall we? Yeah. You can then attach it if I just use the front two. Freely. As I say, that's a standard bit of kit. And what that's done is that's sealed the unit in the bottom there, so it's going to prevent any snow itself from running up your back. What you'll also notice is on the snow skirt, you do have this rubber rand on there as well, so it's going to hold nice and firmly against your salopettes or your ski pants. So let me do the jacket up, and then we'll take a look at the back part of the jacket. So what you'll notice from the back part, it does have an alpine fit to it. So it's slightly lower in the bum section and it does have a slight fit. What that means is the jacket is going to move with you rather than against you. So when you're skiing and when you're snowboarding, the jacket is going to move with you a lot easier. Also, that means for your own body temperature, keeping you warm, keeping you cool, it's going to react a lot easier as well with you. What you will notice though, obviously you've got two toggle systems on the back with the hood and you've got a toggle system on the, or on the front, sorry, and you've got a toggle system on the back. Playing around with these will adjust the hood accordingly. So if you, you, know, you wear your helmet, Oh, you wear the hood over your helmet, you can uh, freely adjust it. So what that means is when you move left to right at the moment, you, the hood will just stay where it is. Once you've played around with the toggles, you look, move left, you move right, the hood itself will move with you. That also plays in nicely with the peaked hood as well. That's going to make it nice and rigid. So what that means is it's going to give you great peripheral vision and good overall vision. So you'll be able to see where you're going, where you are and where you've been. A nice little feature as well with this hood, you've got a zip on the back there. And if I just turn it around, You've obviously got your popper as well, or the Velcro system, so you can actually take this hood off as well. So if you don't like the hoods, if you don't want the hoods, obviously if you're wearing a beanie or you've got your helmet on and you don't see the point of wearing a hood, you can take it off and away you go. Anyway, if you'd like any more information on this jacket, please visit our website, simplypieced.com.